Hey guys, John here from Titan, and I want to officially invite you guys out to the St. Pete Art and Fashion Week. Down in St. Petersburg, Florida, presented by and sponsored by Titan Medical Center, put together by the awesome Donna Crowley at Lux Fashion Group. This is going to be a weekend to remember. So September 8th through the 10th, there's an event on every single night. The first night, the 8th, we have the opening soiree, which is Neon Nights, right? This will be done on Sundial. Um, you can check the official page of St. Pierre and Fashion Week to see all the times and places that you can go. On Friday, High Fashion Friday, that's right. So there's going to be fashion shoots going on all around downtown St. Petersburg. This is open to the public so you can see some of the models or the different photographers out there getting some great pictures and content out there. And of course, September 10th, that's the big one. The fashion show. That's right. The art and fashion show will be going on. It's going to be an awesome show with a lot of great designers, including Titan Medical Center. So we'll have some awesome great designs for all of our people out there to see. We can't wait to see you guys. It's going to be a weekend to remember. So come join us September 8th through the 10th for St. Pete Art and Fashion Week presented by and sponsored by Titan Medical Center. We will see you there. Later. What's up guys? So John here from Titan. I'm here with Titan athlete and good friend Drew and we are here at Dick's Sporting Goods. So what are we doing here today? We are actually shopping for Big Drew. You know he's a he's a bigger individual so we got to get some more custom gear for him. He likes to show off these big muscles and his hard work so at that point he wants something that's going to fit him right too. Just want to make sure that he's going to look good and feel good with his therapies and the clothing we're going to put on him right? Already feel good, it's time to look good now. Right, right. So it's time to get them straight, time to get them together. So you guys are gonna see a little bit of behind the scenes and the Titan lifestyle, what I do for the athletes. I kind of come here and I want to pick out the custom gear for them, make sure they're getting like top notch clothing because you know what, I'm gonna wear it, they want to wear it. I want to make sure we look good out there. Presentation's a big thing. Exactly, right? it makes sure it lasts too. First class therapies, first class gear for us. We want to make sure you guys are good in there, getting the activity on, make sure our athletes are looking good too in this. So you guys can see uh, kind of what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go through here, we got some shirts, we got some shorts. Let's see what fits Drew. Let's see what he likes, it. man. Let's get it, man. I don't Let's know if do they it. got hats for this big head, but we'll see what we can do. <laughs> we'll custom order those. All right. So, so when it comes to him, man, you figure get the biggest thing you can, right? It's going to fit on him. Two X's, three X's standard aren't fitting. That's crazy. That's why I'm gonna over order a Nike though. I think this is gonna be it right here. I hope so. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully Drew gets get some shorts today. Are you good? Hey, 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 we can find a winner. These are good, huh? Yeah, those are great. The struggle was real. Either too short or too long. I finally found a pair of shorts. They're breathable, real light. They got the Euro cut. So what I'm gonna do is, since I tried on like five or six different styles and I couldn't find the one that fit, now that I found the one that fit, I might as well just get every color, save myself the time of trying on all these ones. So now that I got the shorts, next on to the shirts, same style, I'm gonna try to find something that matches with this. We'll put the Titan logo on everything, make it look real good. Let's go. But some of the people down here, they you know, like in the office or like that, because they don't see the athletes when they come in all the time because these athletes are out of state. I got like Casey Trulinson, I got Brian, uh, I got Pat, I've got a lot of different people, Chris, I've got a lot of different people out there that are, uh, you know, they don't get seen that much because they're in different states or whatever it may be. So at that point, I still hook them up and they still gotta get good Titan gear, especially if they're out there in that territory by themselves and representing, man, I gotta make sure my guys are taken care of. Uh, they are definitely Titan family to me. So at that point, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these sizes. Hopefully they'll like it. 
Guys, we got a lot of nice gear coming, I promise. Decision, decision, my Vic Sporting Goods looking for some some workout clothes. The problem I always have is because of my traps, the, sh the shirts are always, they're always too short in the back. So I try to get the Euro cut stuff because the Euro cut stuff usually an inch, inch and a half longer in the back. So you guys with big traps, if you're looking at tank tops and they're always too short, get Euro cut stuff too. A lot of times people will get a bigger size like a 3X or a 4X. Um, thinking it's gonna be longer when it's just wider. No, I mean, I'm happy to get away with it, but a 2X on that is still gonna be snug. Okay. Because it's good. So, I, mean, I like stuff to hit just just above my kneecap. See right here, I don't like it to be too long on my calves. That's too old school for me. Nothing against this this cotton stuff, but God forbid you put it in a dryer by accident, the shirt's ruined. It's gonna shrink, it's gonna fade. Even if it costs three times as much, it's gonna last 10 times as long. I have dry fit stuff that I have right now, I've had for five, six, seven years. It looks the same as it does coming off the rack, as opposed to you guys get the cheaper shirts and only last a few months. So spend a little bit more, get stuff that's gonna last longer, especially in the Florida heat. You're sweating through this stuff all day long. When this gets wet, it's gonna stay wet. Going from AC to hot, AC to hot, that cold, cold, in and out, dry to wet, that's how you get sick. Again, dry fits the way to go. I like this because a lot of times when it has a v-neck, mm -hmm. this is too thick, mm -hmm. so you can't see the traps. Right. This will help with the traps. Is... Let's make sure we get everything right, Drew. Right. I'm gonna get some extra larges, double X's. Yeah, yeah. Got a little bit of Titan Blue, right? Titan Blue, we're gonna put some white on this bad boy. It look just like this one I got on, but it's gonna be blue. We're gonna represent. So uh, these are the Nike, right? And it's blacked out in front. Now with these, you're, you're not really gonna be able to see a lot of Titan stuff on back. But we're gonna put Team Titan across the back of one of these bad boys. And then you have the front, you, you can either embroider or you can, we're gonna print Titan on the front. So I'm gonna, actually, let's go to see if Drew, you see the side? I mean, it's, yeah, it's yeah, a complete yeah, outfit. Clean. I want to hook you up. That's clean. All right. All right. All right. We'll try that too. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Here's a here's a double and Here's next up. Try both. All right. Gotta get the right man. Personal shopper, or, you know? Like, you gotta dress all these people, man. It's like a personal designer, I guess. Designing clothes. You know, all the Titan clothes. I can design. And then all this stuff. The athletes. This is a full time gig, man. I should be getting paid for this art, right? It's like, now I'm gonna go back. I used to, every time I'm gonna go back, I just need a hoodie. Blessed to be able to do this, man. Blessed to be able to help people. Blessed to be able to come out here and really show what's up, man. Cool shit. Yep, yep. You got the stubble so you can shave. You got the straight black. Nice, you got the good bag or a little sun. I will get some sand. Woo! You have to go here. Not management. What's up guys, so uh, we just got done here at Diggs. Of course, I think we got some in the bags, right? We got plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff, plenty of dry fit stuff, plenty of quality Ooh. stuff. Put the Titan logo on it, let's get it. Ready yeah, to go. On there. Let's, let's do this, man. We're about to show you guys what Titan's all about. Feel good and look good. And we also got the Mid Florida coming up. We got the Seminole, we got all kinds of stuff. Check the website, check the schedule. Hercules Potion's in full effect. Ooh. I'm ready to hit the gym, let's get Ooh. it. See y'all later. <laughs>
consistency. That means you're doing things over and over and over again. Repetitions. Repetitions are things that you're going to be doing over and over and over again. See how these two things go together, right? So, repetitions. Repetitions is something that you're going to do, right? Whether it's a bicep curl, a tricep pull down, whatever it is. How many repetitions are you going to do? This is something you're going to have to set forth in your plan, right? Get a workout plan together. Get it organized of what you're going to accomplish that day in the gym, in that week and hit those goals. Some people, they don't need to write things down, but a lot of people cannot keep track of these things and cannot remember what they did last time they were in the gym. So keep a notebook if you need to, but you don't have to be old like that. You got your phone right and it's usually on you when you're in the gym. Now, don't get on it a whole bunch and check Facebook or Instagram and all these other social media platforms to get distracted. But you can make a note and in the note, have what you're doing that day and put your repetitions in there consistency. This is doing something over and over and over again. Now being consistent with your workout plan, your nutrition plan, with your sleep routine, whatever it may be, but you're being consistent about it. And you want to be consistent in a positive way, using what we've learned before in previous things, like setting the notebook up in your phone and following your repetitions and following your plan and being consistent about it day in and day out. That's what differentiates the people that achieve their goals, the people that do not achieve their goals, right? They have to be consistent and they have to continuously do the repetitions over and over and over to get better. Think about it. Whatever sport you play or anything you've done, the more repetitions you do at things, the better you get at it. That old saying comes into play. Practice makes perfect, right? And it applies to the situation too as well. So take this little bit of advice of consistency and repetitions and apply them together to get a better result for yourself so you guys can get that great beach body you guys always want, 365 days, every single minute of the day for yourself. So guys, I hope this tip has helped you guys. I'll have a lot more for you guys. Stay tuned and guys, check out the website, tightmedicalcenter.com. If you guys want any therapies or any other things that we can help you out with here, please call or text us 727-389-3220 and stay tuned for the next Titan Fitness Tip. Later, guys. My name is Pat Russo. I'm 41 years old. I'm a um, police officer in Pennsylvania. Uh, before jumping on with Titan, I started realizing up in my late uh, 30s, early 40s, my energy was starting to tank a little bit. Uh, healing was a big factor. It was not happening as well as it used to back in my 20s. Muscle gains weren't coming as good as they used to either. Uh, I reached out after doing some research, found Titan Medical, uh, reached out to them, set up an appointment, uh, got in touch with one of their health providers, uh, had a great experience with them. Did everything over FaceTime, considering I'm out of state. Uh, actually made friends with uh, John, the owner, which has uh, you know, been a good friend over the last couple of years. The uh, therapies I actually use now are uh, Titan Complete. Uh, basically gets me all my uh, amino acids and uh, all my vitamins throughout the day. Uh, glutathione, which I'm considering to be a very big part in uh, the fight against COVID. Um, I'm in and out of prison nonstop and you know, with a mask, without a mask. I mean, this this stuff keeps you on point. Um, I believe that my immune system's through the roof. Uh, I wholeheartedly believe that, that 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 stuff is key in fighting against COVID. Hercules Potion obviously helped me out a lot in gym, uh, giving extreme pumps, um, just insane gym sessions. And really, there's nothing nothing I can't say about it that, uh, you know, unless you experience it for yourself, you, my words are not going to really help you. Uh, fat loss, ECA stack and energy with that. Insane. On point, head on a swivel the entire time. You feel amazing with it. Am I happy with Titan Medical? You're good. Right, I'm happy with Titan Medical. I would not be in the condition I'm at, where I'm at, you know, mindset where I'm at without these guys. Um, especially family and law enforcement. If you're 
in the dumps, you know, you're, you're, you're lagging where you should be actually, you know, on point, you know, for lack of a better term, this isn't the time, you know, in this world to be lackadaisical. You know, if you're not healing the way you used to, you're tired all the time, you need the energy, you need the focus. Titan Medical. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my beautiful wife here. Every week, I bring you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and bring your relationship to a whole new level. That's right. Even if you're not in a relationship, you can use these tips, tricks, and things that will help you in your future relationship. So hopefully that will be a successful one, at least on your part, right? And maybe you could teach your partner or your new partner some different things along the way. Tricks. That's what it's all about, right? Learning from each other and educating each other and feeling each other and being better together. So this week we're going to talk about something that I think a lot of couples go through. For or sure. maybe a lot of people Everybody in general, through. right? I think so. Um, and that is third party stress affecting your life or your relationship. So that's right. So let's give some different examples out there right so you know you're busy your wife's busy your husband whatever it is you guys got different jobs per se you guys are dealing with different things like contractors new houses whatever it may be right you're dealing with somebody out there and usually especially right now in the environment that is out there and maybe you guys can agree with us on this one Customer service just isn't what it used to be. It's not. Okay. Actually, it's non-existent. It's non-existent. Yeah. And, you know, a tight medical center, that's what we really set a precedence on and set a priority for is our patient care and customer service. But a lot of companies out there have lost this golden touch. And, you know, with this becomes a lot of stress on the consumer. So let's give it a prime example. Um, <laughs> Which one? Yeah, we've got so many. Which it's one? ridiculous, especially in the last we couple have, of weeks. We have a laundry list for it's so been a lot. Have your pick. It's been a lot. So, you know, I'll, I'll name a couple different ones because I don't want to just isolate it to one certain thing. But let's talk about your job, right? You guys work two different jobs. Now, jobs can be very stressful, right? Especially if you're not the boss, you're getting, you know, you're getting stuff. And even if you're the boss, you get a lot of stress on you too. Yeah. But you're getting stressed from all different areas, whether it's uh, your employees, if you're the boss, or if you're not the boss, from your management or peers or whatever is going on. Project coming up, needs to get done, all these different deadlines. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of stress on you. Yep. And let's say you're part of a team in that business and you're doing your part, but the other team members aren't doing theirs and it's reflecting bad on you. Right? This is going to put you know, you in not such a good mood. You're, you're upset about it. You're frustrated about it. You don't know what to do about it. And you, know, you take that frustration home with you. And then, you know, you don't mean to, you're not trying to, but that frustration comes off on your partner. And then they're taking all the stress and the venting and all the good stuff that comes along with that. Mm -hmm. Now, it's okay to vent to your partner and tell them about your day, whether it's a good day or a bad day, because this is definitely going to help in the long run, de-stress. But when you're bringing more frustrations and stress home, or you're putting it on your partner, this could stress your relationship, right? Yeah. Um, because you're angry at somebody else, you're coming home and you're like kind of taking it out on your partner. Maybe, like I said, you're not, not mean to do this. You might not try to do this, but it does happen. It happens a lot. I mean, you might not even be taking it out on your partner. You might be taking it out on your kids. Yep. You might be taking it out on your animals. I yep. mean, hope not, hopefully not. Yep. But I mean, you might just, you might, maybe yep. the dog stepped somewhere and you normally wouldn't have been upset if the dog, you know, came across you like this. And now you're like, ah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, these are just things that you need to take in consideration. And, you know, when you have a stressful moment or you're dealing with people, and you know, that's another thing. So you're on the phone and you're dealing with, I don't know, a phone company, whatever it is. And they're just giving you the runaround. You feel like you're not getting anywhere. You're getting stressed out about it. You're getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm very calm and collective most of the time. But after so much ongoing chasing my tail around and asking the exact same questions and not getting any sort of answer, mm -hmm. it's going to get me frustrated too. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, there's different ways to get these frustrations out. You can definitely vent your partner or there might be some stress relievers you can be doing like working out or taking a walk outside or whatever it may be. Some, that's something that makes you happy or something that you can 
de-stress. Don't hit the bottle and don't do drugs. Those are two things mm. you should not do. Because yeah. those do would that. make your problems even worse. And they could even stress the relationship even worse more than that. True. You know, because a lot of people, they do that. Like, listen, you know, I'm going to go, I, I need a drink, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's fine if you want to have a social drink once in a while. But if it comes to the point where you're using this all the time, you're using it as a crutch then at that point, And then that's becoming a bad habit. And that bad habit will affect your life going forward in all different realms, whether it's your job, whether it's your relationship, um, whether it's your, your personal health. I mean, this is another thing that a lot of people don't take into consideration. And with stress, that can be detrimental to your health Very too as well, yep. right? Even with stress, we are talking about stress before where stress can affect so many different things in the body. It can raise cortisol levels, which can make you gain weight, not feel good about yourself, less confident, and then you start going to a downward spiral there. Um, so there's a lot of different things you need to take into consideration, but the first thing you need to do is, is when you deal with a stressful thing, talk to yourself about it, vent to your partner if you need to, de-stress, and then come home to your partner per se, <laughs> and then, you know, have a good relationship. It, you know, sometimes you got to separate things and it's harder to do when you work together. That's so, much harder right? to do when you work together. So, Most people can't do this, yeah, right? They yeah. can't, they can't work together. I mean, me and John, technically we work two different departments of Titan, right? Yeah. And that's good because we have our own departments per se. We still have the same end goal for Titan, but we work two different departments. I mean, but we still are together all the time. And you know, he, I don't have to come home to take anything out on him because he's already there. So, you know, he might get the brunt out of things. The same goes the other way around. You know, he might get upset about something or might be frustrated about something and take it out on someone else and you don't realize you're doing it right. but you know you're gonna have to figure out at some point like oh wait i'm doing this let me pause for a minute you know but us personally i mean we've been going through a lot of different stressors lately sure. i mean we're just getting stacked with them at this point yeah. it's just uh, there's not one thing that seems like there's not one company except for maybe I, people that just recently left us some beautiful flowers on the table yeah. to thank us for our business, which was really cool. Yeah. Um, outside of that, you know, we haven't had anybody really try to, you know, do their job properly. And ultimately it does, it, it gets you up here, you know, and then you're, you're going to take it out on somebody or get, somebody's going to get it. I mean, I think I've said that probably every day for the past three weeks. Yeah. Things roll downhill. <laughs> it's just who's going to be on the bottom of that hill. It's going to get, uh, yeah. that's the bad thing because it might not be the person that deserves that. Right. Right. Um, so that, that's one thing you really got to take in consideration when you're doing this. Communication, right? Communication is key. We talk about this every single episode because of how it should be. And communication is even lacking these days. And I'm not talking about your relationship communicating back and forth, but let's say it's a person that comes, right, to your door and they're starting a job and they don't communicate, hey, we're going to leave today, truck broke no, down. No, I'm going to give you we'll Yeah, yeah the, the, the mosquito people. You know, so at that point, there's another Same, I'm telling you. That, 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 prime the people come, right, because we have, we have a, a, a house we just moved into yeah. and there's some things that need to be done, right? You know, gutter stuff, mosquito yeah. stuff, whatever. They come, they do half the work yeah. and then they disappear, yeah. right? Magically into air, disappear. And then who do you think has to call them to find out where they're at? me right and then i gotta figure out oh no 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 they're gonna come today and they're gonna finish the job and then this truck broke down and then we didn't we had this one tech out and they were sick and you know i mean the, the list can go on and on and on how many excuses the company comes up with as to why you just didn't show up that's kind of like going to the hairdresser right and the hairdresser only does the this side of your hair right, all right. and then you're like all right I'll see you soon. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to do the other side. And then they don't come back for like two weeks. Isn't that strange? You do part of your hair and say, I'm going to leave. That's a problem. I too, mean, that, right? I do see like visually, envision yeah. like only half of your hair being highlighted. Yeah. And wouldn't that be strange? And then yeah. they're like, oh, what happened to the rest of it? Okay. And then you have to ask, right? But that's like, you know, it's blatantly obvious that this right. is a problem, right? right? It's a problem across the board. If you start something, you need to finish it, right? I wish I could just sure. yell this out or maybe put a big sign on the outside of our house that says, if you start a project, please finish it. And if you cannot finish it, please inform the customer. Yep. <laughs> That's it. We're just asking for, in, like, just communicate. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, with this, it comes more frustrations, right? <laughs> you're trying to communicate, you're trying to see what's going on. It does bring more stress to the relationship. Yes. So, I mean, this is hard. Now, you're never going to get away from stress. It's always going to be there. Problems are always going to arise and you got to be able to know how to deal with it. And the other big thing is, is that we talk about communication and we say what to do, but are you truly communicating things with them? Are you venting? 
there's some people who hold these things in. They don't want to talk about it. Um, just makes them more upset per se or whatever whatever their thing is. Um, so they don't, and then it bottles up, and then it goes off and into something up. totally different, right? So you're mad about something at your job, or you're mad about something that somebody did to you as a vendor or a friend or whatever it is, and then you go home, and then you know the littlest thing that would not get you upset before sets you off, and then this is, goes back to maybe your partner, your kids, your dogs, whoever it is, and then you know you might feel upset about it or guilty about it later on. You think about it like, man, like. Yeah. I really didn't mean to say that to them or, you know, I, I was just upset. You know, even if that's the fact and you did do this, it's good to go to apologize for it. Mm -hmm. Communicate, say, listen, I'm sorry. You know, things were frustrating to me in this circumstance if you didn't talk about it previous. And, um, you know, tell them, like, listen, I, I'll make sure this, you know, hopefully doesn't happen again. And you got to make sure that it doesn't. You know, because if you keep doing these things, that's another bad trend that you can get into. And then you're constantly taking things out on your loved ones who really shouldn't be receiving the blunt end of the stick. Okay? Yeah. Um, it just really is. I mean, and really ways to get away from this. There's really no ways, like I no, said. there's no way to do it. Um, you just got to deal with the stress. I mean, don't ever run from your problems either. Try to hit I'm them direct, direct on. Uh, the faster you deal with these problems, um, the faster they're going to hopefully go away. If you don't deal with your problems and these other stresses that are happening and you let them just keep piling on, piling on, piling on, then you feel like, man, I'm in such a deep hole that I really can't get out. So, you know, what am I doing here? So it's really good to just attack these things, no matter how difficult they are, how easy they may be. You know, it's something that you should do and prioritize and getting rid of the problems, taking care of them. And that way you guys can move on. And hopefully you guys won't have any other problems that mm -hmm. dealt, dealt with this issue that you're having before. Yeah. And if you are, make sure you get to the root of the problem and fix that. Because, you know, that's a lot of other things. If people only fix certain things, right? They put a bandage or a bleeding wound in all different cases yeah. scenarios. Sure. And, and and then that, you know, that, that bandage gets soaked and then it's off again. And then you got that bleeding wound just going again. So what are you going to do about that? So really look at the deep root of the problem of really where it's stemming from and try to take care of it there. Um, you know, if you guys are looking for stuff that can hopefully help you guys out uh, with dealing with stress, anxiety, things like that, there's certain therapies out there that Type Medical Center does offer that can help you out maybe to relax a little bit. And I'm not talking about any controlled substances or any Xanax or anything like that. I'm talking about things that are more natural to you. So amino acid injectable therapies like L-theanine, right? Or magnesium, which are good for your body in so many different ways, but can also help you relax. And this is in tight serenity. So if you guys are looking for something like that, we have that too. Oxytocin, if you're trying to look for bonding for your, your partner a little bit more, because listen, you guys have had all this stress financially per se, or job per se, or kids, or whatever it may be. You guys got to get to that bonding period or spend a little bit of alone time together. Yeah, that might help too, is just to get away all the stress from stuff. everything and just allocate a couple hours to be like, all right, yeah. we're going to go do something yeah. and we're not going to talk about any of these problems, yeah. right? Because yeah. it kind of rolls into, you know, when you get ready to go to sleep typically oh, is man. when it all comes to, like to light. Yep. And it's just me personally, I, I, that's what I do. And I know there's about a bunch yeah. of you guys that do it out mm -hmm. there. Cause it's like your wind down moment. Right? right. But then as you're winding down, you might be thinking about, Oh yeah, this happened today too. Oh yeah. This too. Oh yeah. Oh, by, by the way, we need to fix this. And it's like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, take these tips, <laughs> tricks, and things that we're telling you today, especially those third party stress, Relieve it, do something about it. Don't take it out on your loved ones, your animals, your kids, whoever's Just around. Just take it you. back out on them. That's right. Give them the full force and people Give that it really to deserve them. it. And you don't gotta be rude about it. Just hit them right, right? And tell them what's right and don't let them get over on you. Mm. So I hope this helps you guys out. This is me and Sharice for Cupid's Corner every Sunday at 11 a.m. coming at you guys. If you don't get to see it live, don't worry, you can DVR it. Or you can go right to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center. You'll get to see all these great shows and even more content from us to you guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in every week, day in and day out. Thank you guys so much. We love you, and we'll see you guys back next Sunday at 11 a.m. ABC with Cubist Corner. See you then.